I want to let you guys know that I'm not here for your entertainment this afternoon. We're here to spread the gospel. Use this gospel for protection. It's a hard road to heaven. We call on your blessings. In the Father, we put our faith. Wait a minute. That was Kanye West? That's right. At a recent event, apparently Kanye is born again. And what about Kim Kardashian West? She was baptized? Was it all for show? And why should we care? Because these two alone influence hundreds of millions of people. Now, throughout history, fame and fortune have left countless souls empty and miserable. So it shouldn't surprise us when celebrities search for true meaning in life. Now, many people just want some form of spirituality and don't really know what they're looking for. But remember this, no one is beyond the reach of the one true God. Pray for them, but let's not be too quick to put celebrities up on a pedestal. There are too many examples of famous people claiming Christianity or coming to Christ, but living or saying things that completely contradict what the Bible teaches. So regardless of what you think about his support for President Trump, Kanye West seems to be sincere in his newfound faith in Jesus Christ. Only time will tell. I'm David Fiorazzo, and this is Christ and Culture. Some Christian news outlets are quick to publish stories on big-name athletes or celebrities who simply mention God or talk about being, quote, blessed. Well, this doesn't mean they believe in Jesus, and we need to take a little bit of time and look into the beliefs, theology, and see the lifestyle of any public figure claiming to be Christian. Now, I can't even mention some of the past disgusting song lyrics and videos by Kanye West. Many are just too profane and offensive. But apparently, that was then. His new project is called Jesus is King, and he now says from now on he just wants to do gospel music. In a video of him preaching to a captive audience at one of his album listening events, he refers to himself as a recent convert, and West admitted some past mistakes. So take a look. A strong member in pop culture that I worshipped the idea of labels, brand names. I worshipped cars. I worshipped the city I grew up in. West then mentioned repentance and the gospel to a captive audience, explaining that the first thing Jesus said was, repent. He also added, quote, imagine someone sending their only son to die for you, end quote. So he also talked about the fact that people cannot work their way to heaven or earn salvation. And he quoted Ephesians 2, verse 8 and 9, for it is by God's grace that you've been saved through faith. It is not a result of your own efforts, it is a gift of God. So, what are we to think? Just watch his life with cautious optimism. Don't be too skeptical. Observe him and what he does to see if he produces good fruit. And be gracious. Because remember, we all have a past. We've all sinned. We've all made mistakes along the way. As for his wife, however, Kim Kardashian West, it might take a while. Consider the media megastar and selfie queen who became wildly rich and famous pretty quickly. It wasn't from studying and receiving a degree, working hard, paying her dues, helping others. It wasn't for some great achievement or a contribution to society, but because people knew her last name, thanks in part to her father, Robert Kardashian, being friends with O.J. Simpson. Kim also grew up with a mega wealthy friend, Paris Hilton, who actually hired Kardashian to assist her in a so-called re reality TV show called The Simple Life. Now, the event that sadly catapulted her to stardom, enabling her to eventually become a narcissistic role model for America's daughters, was the settlement of a $5 million lawsuit for a 2007 sex tape. Well, to her credit, she used the money to propel her family into stardom by producing Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which I'm amazed it's still on TV, and tragically, young girls have emulated her ever since. Why? Because Americans are obsessed with sex and fame. Today, she has 149 million followers on Instagram alone. Writing in the Washington Times about why we should care, Jessica Chasmar penned an article called 
Kardashian culture is killing America, and stated this, the Kardashian saga illustrates our nation's moral, spiritual, and cultural decay like few other media stories do. America of 50 years ago would regard Mrs. Kardashian with a mixture of disdain and pity, embarrassed by the very idea of a young lady's most private moments being broadcast for all the world to see, end quote. The Kardashian family's lust for attention and self-worship, sex and money, has further polluted the soul of a nation that has forgotten its roots and has forgotten how to blush. With so much of today's entertainment, in quotes, openly promoting sin, it's no surprise American culture has gone into the gutter. But as Christians, we don't have to consume it. So back to Kim Kardashian West. She's pictured wearing crosses and being baptized recently in an Armenian church, which proves little about her faith. Madonna wore crosses, Lady Gaga wore crosses, Miley Cyrus wore a purity ring. Kardashian West hasn't publicly discussed much about what she believes. People are skeptical of her morality and values for obvious reasons. And Kanye West has quite the past to overcome as well, but hopefully he's on the right track. This will be an interesting saga to keep an eye on. Now, we may sometimes hate what America has become, thanks to Hollywood and the entertainment industry, but most of us were once just as lost, just as far from God and without hope. We shouldn't expect unbelievers to act as if they know God and are saved. Many celebrities think they have it all in life, and they don't need anything because they are their own gods. But you and I know better. There's only one way to salvation. His name is Jesus. Pray that they, too, come to a knowledge of the truth before it's too late. God bless you, and keep speaking the truth about things that matter.